Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And um, this video is to show you the completed color book pages that I did for April 2021. And uh, I worked in seven books here. So I'm going to put them in a stack on the side and we're going to go through each one. And I'll show you what I've been working on. Um, okay, uh, first I have Nightfall by Maria Trolle. And I hadn't done any in this book, so I started with this page and did my <laughs> stenciling in different colors on there and my butterfly. And then I was on a roll. So I started to do this little butterfly, all metallic watercolor here. And this was done with Mung Yo Soft Pastels. And um, I have a list of here what kind of pencils. I use Star Joy colored pencils, Pentel Sparkle Pop gel pen, and Folk Art Hologram Extreme Glitter paint. So this is my go-to glitter paint. It's an acrylic paint. It doesn't pile up like glitter glue. And it's smooth and it's very fine and I, I like the look. Any recommendations that I give you of products on this channel are strictly my own opinion. They may work for you or may not depending on your coloring style. Okay, let's get going. Uh, then I did this page here. Um, the title page, which I never color. This is something this month been really different for me. And um, the Star Joy pencils, you can see, are just very vibrant. And this is Sparkle Pop gel pen. Now, these gel pens by Sparkle Pop by Pentel are a little pricey, but they are really worth it. Uh, I've never had so much sparkle before, and they don't ever get clogged up. And then I worked on this and made it a double page spread with my peach um, pastel background and my a little turquoise background. And I tried to coordinate these flowers and bird with uh, the bird and the flowers over here. And I used my stencil down here on this pot because it was so bare. And um, I just used a stencil there with some uh, soft pastel. Okay, uh, here is some sparkle pop on the background here, the stars and everything. That's what I've done in this book here, Nightfall by Maria Trolle. And then I'm going to um, bring this book out. Um, I haven't done a flip through of some of these books uh, yet, so if you want to see them, please let me know and I will do a flip through. This is Dover Publishing. It's not Creative Haven. They have that their title across the top. But the Dover books are double-sided. And um, they are educational. Um, and so um, there's a little bit of information down here and usually here. Anyway, I um, bought this because it was by Mingju Sun. This is one of her first books. And um, I wanted to tackle uh, doing armor on the samurais. Uh, so, and I like the history of Asia, so I wanted to read it. <clears throat> so what I did is I made a photocopy of these pictures. I took the book apart. As you can see, there were staples in it. So that I can photocopy these and not wreck the picture on the back side and use any medium that I want. And so in this book... Excuse me, I may have to clear my throat or cough. Um, having a little problem today. Okay, and in this book here, I did this. And in, this is with the King Art Gel Sticks, the background, and a stencil. And for those of you that do not know what King Art Gel Sticks are, they come in a package like this of 24 mixed media gel sticks and they're pretty good size and I've been having fun trying to learn to use them. So I did this background on this guy here and then the Star Joy pencils 
and the um no i'm sorry i used the uh state stadler ergosoft pencils and um a black micron pen on some of these okay so that's that guy and this is the other samurai here this is the um well, what do you call it? The King Art gel pen, or not pen, gel sticks. I'm getting all mixed up here. Just putting it on with a makeup brush and giving a light background on this one, a plain background. <clears throat> okay. The next one I did with Mingju Sun was this Chinese Fashions. And um, <clears throat> same thing, double-sided book. This has a lot of history of the different dynasties, 4,000 years of Chinese history. And her drawings in the past, I took it apart so that I could photocopy. And so let me show you what I did. They have a lot of history here on, the main, uh, on different dynasties. So let's start with this. I worked on this, and I did this on camera. And um, actually it came out better after I got off camera. I did a tutorial on using the makeup brushes with the King Art gel sticks. I gave her a cast shadow, which really, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> helped the, uh, anchor her down and make the background look better. Uh, and it's a light um, lime, lime color like her cummerbund. And on this, I used uh, the Ergosoft, Statler Ergosoft pencils, stencils, and King Art gel sticks. And um, this one doesn't have any micron pen on it, but some of them do. <clears throat> same with this. I used the same, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, mediums. And I did give him a cast shadow, which made this background look a whole lot better. And I do have a tutorial on both, or a, I don't like to call them tutorial, a technique video, if you want to watch that. And then the last one I did out of this book was this uh, samurai here from the Tang Dynasty. And this stencil I've had for quite a few years in my collection and never used it. And with the gel sticks, they came out, it came out really nice. I like the way it fits this warrior. Okay, uh, the next book that I worked in was this one here by Millie Murata, and she's got a lot of books out. I think five other ones. This is number six, but this is a compendium of her famous or her most popular drawings, and I didn't have any of her books because she does a lot of uh, patterns, and um, they've always sort of um, intimidated me but this time I wanted to try it again and I got this book on the compendium because it has the most popular pictures and I'm really really for the first time enjoying this book and I haven't done a flip through of it either but if you'd like to see it please let me know anyway this was my first thing that I did here now, if you're <clears throat> intimidated by the designs, you can just make this all one color. You know, that's what you could do. But I feel that her work is best illustrated when I actually color the designs. And this did take quite a while. The background is just soft pastel from Rembrandt. And it's uh, a lime green, actually, a yellow green. I was debating on what colors to put in here. And on this I used these Color Tint by Spectrum Noir. They are graphite pencils that are tinted. And so that's what is here, along with some Graphitint by Derwent. I did use one color from that. Let me look here. Uh, yeah, that's basically the mediums I used here. Okay. And then I did another one in here, these moths. And the background is just the King Art um, gel sticks put on with a makeup brush. And I did not cover every single inch. I left it a mottled look, but it's a light gold and it's metallic, so it doesn't really come across on the camera like it does in person, but it glistens. 
This is a metallic gold color in the background. And these are my moths. And um, what pencils did I use here? The Ergosoft also. Uh, these two are Ergosoft. And these two are the uh, Color Tint by Spectrum Noir. These are watercolor. And these are pencil. So, and then I'm working on another one in here. This is a whip. It's a work in progress that's not finished yet. But I'm working on these moths here. And this is all done with the color tint. And I'm going to be um, incorporating some of the graphitant from Derwent in there. And then do a background. They're not detailed yet. They're not shaded or nothing. They're going to look a little a lot different. This is not finished. Okay, moving on to Circle of Life. Let me move my stuff to the floor here. Uh, Circle of Life, I used Derwent Pro Color Pencils and Rembrandt Soft Pastels and the Folk Art Hologram Glitter Paint, the Extreme Glitter Paint. So let's see which one I did one in here. And it was this picture here. And I've got the uh, sparkle pop here on the background also. The eggs are glistening because they have the extreme glitter paint on them. And this was done with uh, Derwent Pro Color colored pencils. And of course the background is soft pastels. And I believe I used Rembrandt on that. Okay. Let's go and look at the next picture. I did this on camera. And uh, we did a mixed media background. I have a technique video on my techniques playlist if you're interested. And um, uh, let's see what I used here. Um, I used the... Um, Star Joy pencils, Rembrandt pastels in the background, I believe, and uh, Archival Ink by Ranger, Memento Ink, and the stamps I used were homemade. They were from items I found in my house. Okay, uh, a hot pad, a silicon hot pad, and a shelf liner to make the um, pattern on top of the pastel pattern. So that's what I did here. And this were the Star Joy pencils. So, and we gave it a soft background, but it's um, mixed media because once you stamp this on top of the background you had, it, bring, it pushes that background back and brings the design forward. And that was my goal there. Okay, and my last book I worked in, I couldn't quit working in it. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you folks. I have Johanna Basford's books, her older books, and I've done a little bit in them, but never really colored a lot. Um, it just was hard for me to get into them for whatever reason. I think because of all the leaves and the flowers and um, mainly the leaves. So, uh, But this book and The World of Flowers... I'm hooked now on Joanna Basford. I really, really like her work. And these last two books are my favorites. And I intend on trying to color as much in this as I can. So what I've done here is the inside um, flap here. And on this, I used the Ergosoft pencils. I used Sakura Jelly Roll Pen, a clear glitter pen, my Folk Art Extreme Glitter, my Rembrandt Pastels, and stencils from Amazon. Uh, did I use stencils in here? Not yet. I will be. Okay. I wrote that down <clears throat> by mistake. Okay. And my Pentel Sparkle Pop. I want to show you this border. And I'm working on this cover. I never have covered the colored the inside of a cover of a coloring book before, but I fell in love with this drawing. And there's nine different pictures here. And I'm, I did do the border. And I did it in a 
sea green gold, uh, sea green, um, a blue green, uh, and a gold, a pencil, and um, they're, they're ergo soft. Over here, I did this in gold and silver, the frame. And what I did is I went over the gold and the silver with a gold pencil first. And then I used the gel pen, the glitter gel pen, Sparkle Pop on top. And if you, I don't know if you can see it, but it gives it an antique look. And the glitter is much more visible. I used the clear glitter pen on the ribbons here. And... Um, that's about it. Uh, and, of course, the ErgoSoft pencils I used. And then I got into this book, so I had to do this picture here with the pencils and the white um, jelly roll, uh, Sakura jelly roll pens. I put dots all over the flowers and made them look real frilly. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there. But, um, and this one I did the same with the sparkle pop and the gold pencil first. And then I did that border in um, gold. And that's it, folks, for this month. I could have done more, but I spent a lot of the month at the doctor's office and getting testing and um, CT scans and a bunch of stuff. But I'm here to report to you that my last scan on my heart, my echocardiogram, came out good. I will not be having to have a valve replaced. Uh, in fact, uh, because of my weight loss, I was able to see an improvement in that valve. So, anyway, I just want to thank you all for your thoughts and prayers. And I'm slowly you know, after the COVID and the shots and, you know, I'm, what, five months into this now. I'm coming out and I'm almost back to normal. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video on my completed pages this month. And I'm hoping to do more real soon. So, until we meet again, happy coloring. <music>